Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and god I haven't done one of these in a while. This is an idiot imports. Hello Kitty No Isho Block Crash V. Yes, I did just say hello kitty. I have no idea what this has to do with anything, but we'll just go on in and have a look around anyway. So the game's menu is actually pretty simple. You don't really need any sort of translation guide to get around in this game. Obviously that button there is our delete data time, so we really don't want to be hitting that, but as you can see I've been playing this game for about an hour. If we go to the get menu, we can check all our gallery pictures that we've unlocked. And boy are there a lot of them! There's a ton of gallery pictures. You get a gallery picture every time you successfully complete a level, so... And by a level I mean a group of levels, like a group of five levels, and there's a lot of them. And you've also got videos which aren't really videos, but are more something along the lines of just the characters talking about these characters and their costumes and... I haven't actually translated any of these, honestly, so I can't really tell you what they're about, but they're cute either way. So let's actually go and have a look at the actual game. Now, this is this is adorable. Listen to this. <laughs> I don't know why that's so cute. It just is. Normal desu. Hard desu. Okay, let's just give this a look, shall we? So... This game is basically Breakout, but it's got lots of neat little things. Like, for example, my hands are shaking unbelievably right now, but yeah. Basically, you actually launch the ball using the motion sensor to determine the direction it's going to go in. So the idea is that it's Breakout, you've got a bunch of blocks on the board, and you have to destroy them all by bouncing the ball into them. So, you have three lives on every stage. And those, those three lives can go away very quickly. So you actually need to be halfway decent at breakout games in order to actually get anywhere in this. Despite the fact that it's full of cute girls wearing Hello Kitty. I was going to say lingerie there for a minute. I'm like, hang on. <laughs> uh, Hello Kitty costumes. And I have no idea why that's a thing, by the way. Apparently Hello Kitty is a really popular thing in Japan. Once you finish a stage, you're given a letter rank, and the faster you can finish a stage, the better rank you'll get. Which is an odd concept, but consi considering most Breakout and Arkanoid games and what have you that I've played basically have nothing but a straight line of stages, and this is actually a pretty neat concept, but... It's odd, but I like it because it encourages you to come back and try and improve your time to get a better ranking score. I don't know what it unlocks if you get like S's on everything outside of your usual trophy set. But, I imagine it's... I mean, if you're looking for trophies, this would probably be a fun way to go and get some trophies. I've only been playing for an hour then, I've already finished all the easy stages and i finished half of the normal stages, so... It's not that long of a game, not by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, you might be done in, what, 8 to 10 hours? I think that's what I saw when I looked this up online at one point. So, bugger me. So, it's actually kind of cute. Like, the girl on the right gets distressed if you have no lives left, and the girl on the left gets distressed if you have uh, a, couple of a couple of box remaining. Come on, Blue, use your brain. A couple of blocks remaining. See? Now, now they're both nervous. It's adorable. It happens a lot, so it starts to get annoying after a little bit, but it's still adorable. And the girl on the right actually gets kind of pissed off if you miss too many blocks in a row. Like, watch it carefully. If you watch it carefully, it's it, it just makes me laugh because she's just goes... She just makes a pouty face. It's it's adorable. That's I've, I've been saying that a lot. Oh god, why? Okay. And she also gets happy if you hit a lot of blocks in a row. It's a weird game. 
there are also some really creative stages. Like in like one of the hard stages I played actually had the lights go out on the stage and you had to hold a finger to the rear touchpad in order to see wherever you wanted to be looking at. And there was also a... Uh, every time the ball bounced it would create a flash of light. It was an interesting little concept. It only stuck around for one stage, but it was still interesting. Kept the, kept the game flow going and... It's got treasure chests on some levels that drop power-ups. Power-ups don't drop all the time, and they don't do that much, but they're still nice when they show up. It's a... It just... The variety in the stages keeps going. It's a fairly varied game, which is a little bit of a surprise. There's also these levels, which I'm surprised exist. They're like golf, where you got to hit the ball into that hole there up in the top left corner that's got a, like a green shaft coming out of it you gotta hit the ball into that hole in order to actually get anywhere in, uh, well and by get anywhere I mean finish the bloody stage blue work on your brain for gods oh what have I done Oop. so it keeps the variety going which is a surprisingly neat little thing So you always got more stuff to do. And you can always come back and get S ranks on all the stages, so that that gives the game a fair bit more longevity as well. I paid about 25 bucks US for this, and honestly, something under $20 sounds like the perfect price, but as with other games I've imported, they tend to... Well, bugger, I'll just go on to another stage now. Actually, I'll go up to the harder stages, because why not? I'll have to show off a boss at some point. Uh, we'll go to hard, and we'll play on this girl's stages, because why not? Oh, good lord! Okay. Oh, yep, as I expected. I fell immediately. Also, if you're paying attention, that girl on the right, every time you go to a different set of stages, her outfit changes. No idea why, but okay. So yeah, I paid about 25 bucks US for this, and I think that's a tiny bit much. Maybe if you paid $20 for it, maybe if you waited for it to go on sale. Like, I paid for it on sale for 25 bucks, and I still think it was a little bit much. But I've been interested in this game for ages, and with the way some... Bugger me. And with the way some Japanese imports have been going, going out of sale and all that, I've been a little bit worried. I mean, I was... I have a game called At Field, which I eventually plan to cover in this series, purely because you can't find a fucking copy of it anywhere. And that game is a pain to find anywhere, because it just, it's gone out of sale, so I'm happy that I bought it. Oh, bugger. Oh well, I failed. See, she just all... The girl on the left is happy as anything, no idea why. So it's... bugger me! So it's a fair bit of fun. Might be a little bit too expensive. It, come on, Blue! But it's got a fair bit of content. It's got a Platinum Trophy, which surprised me. I, I, God damn, I suck at this when I have to talk about it. But, it's a good amount of fun either way. I'm enjoying it. It's got enough variety in the stage layouts, and thankfully with the way the game is designed, I can go and try another stage if I get stuck on the one I'm on. Bugger me, bugger me sideways. And I figured you guys would need a quick and idiot in ports because I imagine you're sick of all the PlayStation Mobile stuff, even though... God damn it! Because I've, I've been needing to put out the PlayStation Mobile videos almost constantly, so... Yeah. Hopefully this has kept you somewhat entertained if, you ha if you've been missing something that actually looks like a real and actually well-produced game. Although, some might argue that... It's basically Breakout, so I might as well be a PlayStation Mobile game, but... Whatever, I actually kind of like it. If you've got 20 bucks spare and the game goes on sale, it's probably worth looking at. 
I mean, sure, I can understand why you might not like paying 20 bucks for a breakout clone, but... Oh, well. I still I still kind of like it. Maybe if it goes on sale down to $10. Maybe if you can find it really cheap on... Like, what was it? Nip on your son or something? Either way. I'm enjoying it. I don't think you should pass it up if the... If it passes by ya. It's got some actually surprisingly satisfying ball mechanics. Like, um... Oh, here's, here's a stage with some variety in it. Those... Oh, bugger me. Those swirls there? Black holes. I'll suck your ball towards them. See? So you just gotta be constantly working around the... Black holes. Although, in this stage, they're definitely more annoying than one might expect. Damn! You get used to it after a while, but... Damn if it's not annoying. But anyway, that was a look at... Hello Kitty No Wish Show Block Crash 5. I kind of... Vita, or V or whatever. I quite like it. Bloody dog. This has been Blue Maximo, I'll see you all next time.